आई एम दिगन ठाकर एंड यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल ठाकर की पाठशाला टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट ईजीएस वे टू सॉल्व सिग्नल प्रोग्राम बाय मेसेज इन फॉर्म टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्लियरली वी विल टेक वन एग्जांपल ऑफ सिग्नल प्रोग्राम एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट बाय मेसेज गेन फार्मूला एंड इन बिटवीन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रूल्स सो स्टे ट्यून्ड अंटिल एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो here we are considering this simple signal program where g1 g2 h1 h2 all are gains of different different part of graph rs is input and cs is output now we will solve it by mason's gain formula first step is to find out total number of forward path in the graph here first forward path is passing from g1 g2 g3 g4 we will name it p1 so gain of path p1 is equal to multiplication of all gains coming in this forward path which are g1 g2 and g3 and g4 so gain of first forward path is equal to multiplication of all gains second forward path is passing from g1 and g5 so gain of second forward path is multiplication of g1 and g5 we will name it as p2 second step to find total number of sig single loop we can define single loop as a closed path here by looping graph we can find four single loops or we can say four separate loops here is first loop we will name it as l1 second loop l2 third loop l3 and fourth loop l4 as we have done in back <coughs> we will also find gains for this loops gain of first single loop p11 is equal to minus g1 into g2 into h3 because here h3 is a feedback gain so it will mine it will be minus in same way p21 p31 and p41 here this numbering system is interesting here you will look the one is everywhere so one shows us that these are single loops and the first letter 1 2 and 3 and 4 is showing that this is first loop second loop third loop and the fourth loop next step is to find total number of two non touching loops non touching loop means that loops that are not touching each other in any manner as seen from diagram loop l1 and l3 are not touching each other as we have done previously we will also find the gain of two non touching loops we will call it as p21 so p21 is equal to multiplication of gain of loop p11 and loop p31 here two means that these are two non touching loops and one suggest that these are one group of yeah, or first group of two non touching loops if there is any three non touching loops then we will treat those loops as same as manner we have done for two non touching loops but there is no any three non touching loops so we will go for step number 4 which is to find the value of delta 1 and delta 2 so what is delta 1 and delta 2 we can generalize this concept as delta n is equal to 1 minus summation of gain of loops not touching to nth forward path so in this case delta 1 is nothing but 1 minus sum of gain of loops not touching to first forward path but here all loops are touching this first forward path all loops are touching this first forward path so there is no any loop which is not touching so 1 minus 0 is equal to our delta 1 same for delta 2 all loops are also touching the second number of forward path so the delta 2 will also be 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 now next step is to find the value of delta So delta is nothing but 
1 minus sum of gain of all single loops plus sum of gain of all two non-touching loops and so on. So, we have derived uh, all value earlier. So, by putting just those value, we can find delta. Now, step number 6 is to find transfer function. Transfer function is equal to P1 into delta plus P2 into delta 2 divided by delta. If there is a third forward path or a third non-touching loop, so this equation we can expand further like P1 delta 1 plus P2 delta 2 plus P3 delta 3 plus P4 delta 4 hence on divided by delta. We have already find all values previously just by substituting all value you will get your transfer function. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel. This will help me to bring videos like this to you. And if you have liked this video, so share it with your friends.